<laughs> all right you guys it's still about bob risky and his will i say is this one rival because i don't even know what the two of them are struggling it's still about bob risky and very dark man saga so very dark man has gone to visit some very high men in abuja trying to push the case as far as possible but in the shocking revelation Babriski said he won a case with someone one name that he mentioned that we haven't heard before we're going to be reading what he wrote on his social media handle and he's also preaching the gospel and telling the world that they can't stop him from doing so many things of which you're going to be hearing ahead of this video so if it's your first time here and you haven't subscribed this is jenna bogoribe channel the very channel that gives you all the interesting and juicy updates so please subscribe like and share this video do you guys think Bob Risky is a confused human being or not because from the interview I saw today on channel television a bishop was being interviewed and asked why Bob Risky wasn't put in the inmate amongst the other inmates as in they but the man said but risky is neither a girl nor a boy he is having the two things are you surprised don't be just watch the video and please subscribe like and see shocking revelation hey you guys you're highly 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 welcome back so you guys but risky has become a pastor automatically <laughs> this is but risky now preaching the gospel on social media this is so so amazing this is what nigeria can turn you into nigeria can turn into different verses of different uh different types of you <laughs> so now we are seeing the gospel part of from risky all right you guys are so highly welcome back to my channel it's your lady jenna Bobby ruben and if it's your first time here and you haven't subscribed it's time now for you to subscribe please subscribe like and share this video and leave your comment below. now i'm talking about bob risky and what the very dark man revealed about him so ESCC has suspended the people that were said to have collected 50 million naira from Bobiski based on bribery and corruption to bribe them to be able to suspend the case or to to to, to end the case. We suspend the case of his uh, money laundry and the rest of it. So those so, um, personnel have been suspended for now. And then again, Bobiski at some point deleted all the pictures in his page on his page on social media, but later on all of them like this morning he brought out everything back and then again he posted videos of himself saying that nobody can take him away and then also posted the bible verse saying that no one can take him out as no one can destroy his career and all that and then they later went on to post something that no one can take away his help us from me a lot has been said by Bob Risky, but before we dig deeper into the story you guys are highly welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here and you haven't subscribed the time now for you to subscribe please subscribe like and share and leave your comment below please subscribe and also there's a notification bell beside it click on it so you always get notified whenever i post a video please guys subscribe to my channel i'm begging you you guys you know now when you subscribe god will bless you <laughs> all right you guys just watch the video let me read out what he wrote and then the videos he made to reply to the very dark man and then again some people are saying that why are nigerians reacting to this why is efcc going after Bobiski and the people that were mentioned uh senator uh i mean sorry uh san falana and fouls the bad guy himself that why didn't they go after Enik when i uh actually with the election and give them the leader they didn't want and all of that they should have done this kind of thing before they should have put in this kind of energy chasing the bad politicians away from the seat not keeping them there and they're trying to chase someone that did that just create bundles of money in a party and didn't just do anything wrong because they said uh, money what you did that just had to give it the bigger name that that was not really what happened and all of that that they put this energy in trying to chase away corruption from the leaders from the politicians and all the nigerians will be or nigeria will be a better place by now i don't know what you guys think about it different different opinions have been shared on social media some people are saying the bobiski didn't do any wrong thing by calling on files or files not doing any wrong thing by trying to help bobiski uh, get out of his or her situation and all of that that uh, as a lawyer as his lawyer he's capable and has the power to tell him what and what to do and what not to do if it was of course money sol solve it all problem if there's money and money money can solve the issue then money should have been able to solve the issue that's from people's opinion that's what people are in different dimensions that's in different areas or different walks of life i don't know what you have to say so you guys have to tell us your opinion. so you guys tell me what you think about it on the comment section let us know your opinion 
ah what the what how the bad guy did was it wrong what his father did was it wrong what Bobisky did was it wrong what a uh, very dark man did was it wrong i think we should learn to keep her things to ourselves i'm sure this will teach him a lesson you know everything that somebody helps you to do that you begin to share with people in the process of him trying to share with somebody he thought was his friend the same person was recording their conversation and later disclosed it to the general public you see what this world is turning into we don't have anybody you can trust anymore not even your spouse anybody can disappoint you. anybody can can this can disgrace you anybody can just um betray you i think that's what i'm looking for in this world that we're living in now we don't we no longer have people it was in the olden days you see a brother that was standing for our brother and they would defend you to the end they would defend you and see that you you are kept safe but in the present the, the people that we have in this country people are just so greedy people are just so after the material things people are just so after exposing people after blowing the whistle and all that blowing some people are blowing the whistle i know it's whistle blowing is good I told you that as we said during my masters, whistleblowing is good, but people are not, not just are not just blaming. We need to, we we usually have secrets. Everyone has a secret. Everyone has something that he or she has done that the world do not know about. But when once you cannot, when once you disclose your secret to one person, it's no longer a secret. If you even discuss it to the world in your room, it is no longer a secret. It will go around, the world will get to hear about it and people around because the world you're talking to, you don't know if there's somebody on the other side of the world that will record everything and share to the world. So this is what is happening to Bobby Singh. You should better learn his lesson because a lot of people have have exposed him in different ways. He should have learned his lesson by now and learn how to talk. But he is not learning. But even at that, Nigeria is becoming a sweet country. No longer a lawless country. You have to do well. Do well. Do well, oh. Live your life well. Otherwise, you go there everywhere. They go blow your whistle. <laughs> I'm loving this new Nigeria. I hope you're loving it too. But let's not just be blowing whistle of people. Let's be blowing the political whistle too. People that are in politics that are rigging and doing all the wrong things on those seats that are not aligned us to enjoy ourselves as we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be living like America. We're supposed to be living like uh, Canada. We're supposed to be living like all those big countries. But we're still here going to one issue or the other. Why? Because we don't have good leaders. So I think this whistleblowing should also go to the hierarchy, the leaders of the country, so that everybody that does anything wrong will know that someone is going to blow my whistle and I'm going to be brought down and disgraced. Let us do better by blowing better whistles and not facing ourselves as individuals, and not facing ourselves common as we that don't have political power, we don't have God, we don't have God mothers. Let's face the people that think they are too much, they are above the law. Let's expose them please that's what we should be doing i hope this video makes you well just watch my exciting videos of bob risky and let me read out what he wrote on the comment section sorry as we go ahead of this video please subscribe like and share thank you so from here bob risky said nobody can send all my helpers away from me i repeat you can't manipulate lies upon lies to send all my helpers away from me because everybody doesn't have evil hearts some people are still amazing Hmm. So this is Bob Risky throwing tantrums to the people, probably the people that leaked his conversation. I don't know. He went for that to say, My lawyer, good morning. You have won. Court has ordered that Tosin should be investigated. Court awarded 500k against Tosin in your favor. Let's start from here. Good news. And then she goes on to say, Please, everyone calling to tell me the, the danger I am in. And the plans against me should hold it now and f of it i don't want any credit to more no more i was being scared because of the story that efcc will detain me again and i will be sentenced to prison second time god will vindicate me and for those that want to frame me up they will be exposed by the law i am ready for any investigation but not in the same efcc office where I was detained and any investigation should be free, no intimidation, and I demand that uh, I demand for an independent and open investigation for the world to see. You cannot bully me, bully me because of my social media lifestyle. Anybody can alter any audio and 
add or frame any audio and put it out best of luck anyone who published any audio should take responsibility for the audio the fact remains that i am not the maker of that audio i didn't publish any audio and nothing can change that i will meet you guys in any court this time around if you have any case against me your lawyer did deceive you someone said your lawyer did deceive you he now replied and said leave my page i don't need you here this one another person said then collect apartment for you abi they no collect but recently i replied the person asked gogo so like i said from the beginning of the video the bishop said bobby was neither a man or a woman so they didn't want to put him amongst the other inmates otherwise they would just finish him by doing so many things to him that they actually gave him an apartment for security reasons otherwise all those boys in there would have done so many things to him and putting him in the female side he is the females would have done a lot of things to him so he was just a confused human being at the prison that's why he was kept in a separate apartment i hope you guys understand thanks for watching please subscribe see the next time tell us what you think on the comment section